Hello, I'm Ann Taylor, and I'd like you to join me as I prepare for the July Kundalini Yoga series with the theme of sovereignty. And so why Kundalini Yoga and sovereignty? Sometimes we think of sovereignty as a, a nation, a sovereign nation, but I'd like us to take a, a look at personal sovereignty, personal responsibility being responsible for our health, our attitudes, mindset, as much as we're able to. We're living in unprecedented, unprecedented times. Rates of depression, anxiety are, are skyrocketing all over the world. And what I'm finding with my students who have been working with me and through the workshops over the years is that I'm not talking here about like a clinical depression or a clinical anxiety state, but just a general state of angst, being under stress too much of the time. There's not much the healthcare system can do about that. Once the stress gets so deeply embedded into our body, mind, psyche, soma, and symptoms start to show, yes, then it, it's treated by Western medicine. But I have found in basically overcoming my own autoimmune disease and states of angst, who doesn't have it in this day and age, is that there are tools and a toolbox that I can choose to use and take personal responsibility for my health and well being. So that when I do go to the doctor, they go, you know, you're doing something right. Blood pressure is great you know, wait, in, in very good health. And I really do attribute that to Kundalini Yoga. So Kundalini Yoga is also known as the Yoga of Awareness. Well, what does that mean? One of the main objectives in Kundalini Yoga is to learn to be aware, coming out of our head and into our body. How are we feeling? Where's our stress level? If we are stressed, do we know what part of the nervous system is being activated and what tools to really regulate that? So it's, it's learning to really draw from our internal powers that we don't even know we have for the most part. Many people don't know how powerful they really are. But there are things and practices that you can use to tap into developing a keen sense of intuition boosting your creativity, managing your stress levels, and the list goes on and on. And so I'd like you to consider joining me for the month of July, where every class, there's five Sundays in July, each class will be focused on a different aspect of personal sovereignty. So the link is in the bio. It is on Zoom, 9 a.m. on Sundays, uh, Sunday morning at uh, Pacific time and the good part about it is really after the class where we just kind of get off the mat and let's talk about life and what's happening so a group of us has been meeting because I, I really do think and agree that you know as we're coming up towards Independence Day it's really not about being independent anymore it's about collaboration co-regulation that is witnessing each other being heard and really tapping into our own self-healing capacities and really active witnessing and listening can be very healing for everyone in the room so anyway i'd love to have you this class is suitable for beginners and we start with prana or yogic breathing we then go into a set of exercises Again, they can be modified, so just about anybody can attend. Then we go into a session of Yoga Nidra, which is yogic sleep, very healing for the nervous system. And we end it with a meditation. So each section will be targeted towards self-empowerment and developing sovereignty for your own personal freedom. I hope you can join me. Thank you.